begin by printing a status page. First, press the green go button for three seconds to wake the machine up. Next, press and hold the green go button for up to nine seconds. The status page will print. After printing the status page, look for the IP address information here. We will need it later when installing the Mac driver. To download the latest Mac driver, go to QSERADocumentSolutions.us. Click on Support located near the top of the page. Click on Download Center. In Choose an Option, look for the Echosys P2235DW. Look for Mac driver and click on the download arrow key. The download will begin. After downloading Mac 5.x zip file, double click on the file. You will now have a folder named Mac and double click on the folder. Inside you'll find one file ending in DMG. Double click on this file. The file will open up and you'll find these three additional files. On the left you will see Kyocera OS X 10 plus file in the center, the Mac driver guide, and on the right, an uninstaller app. Click on the first file. Go through the wizard, click continue, click continue again, click continue one more time and agree to the software license to begin the wizard installation. Click on install. Enter your username and password and click install software. Once the installation is complete, you should see a green check mark. Click on Close. You can either keep the installation files or move them to the trash as they are no longer needed. In the System Preferences page, select Printers and Scanners. Press the plus key and select the IP tab above the printer listings. Type in the IP address from your printer. The IP address is listed on the status page you printed out earlier. Now go to the next line, Protocol, and select Line Printer Daemon LPD. Leave the queue blank and click on Name. Enter a descriptive name of your new printer. Next click on Location. Now you can leave this blank or you can name a location of your new printer. Under Use, select Echosys P2235DW KPDL from the pull-down menu. Click Add. You may share the printer on the network by clicking on the Sharing Preferences button. You can also make your newly installed Kyocera printer your default printer, meaning any print job from the computer will automatically print to your Kyocera printer. Select the default paper size you'll be using. In most cases, you'll be using US Letter. You have now installed your Kyocera P2235DW printer.